So Star Wars is in trouble, we've known it for some time, and part of that has been the persistent, constant announcements for films which never come to be. Part of that is, of course, when those films do come to be, they're awful. People have complete apathy with Star Wars now, and I really do think Lucasfilm has underestimated just how little people care. There's not even anger out there anymore, people just don't care at all. And one of the individuals that was uh, announced to be directing uh, a Star Wars movie, writing and directing it actually, was Taika Waititi, which annoyed a lot of people because, of course, his handling of Thor in the MCU, uh, a lot of people deem it to be the worst iteration of Thor yet. Which I can, you know, I can completely believe that. I can accept that that's people's stances on it all. Uh, and something that he loves to do is come out and irritate people. So he came out and said, I'm going to... I'm going to ruin your comic books or something like that. Something to that effect. And now, you know, he came out and basically said, uh, my Star Wars movie will piss people off. Well, he's walked back on that now. Uh, and now he's saying that he wants his Star Wars film to capture the joy and entertainment of the original trilogy. Interesting. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Maybe this is Lucasfilm cottoning on to the fact that they can't just continue to espouse nonsense? Maybe. I doubt it, but maybe. Doubtful. But if it is, it's not going to work. I still don't think anyone's going to care. Because again, when I say Star Wars, you go, Ugh, really? It's not like you suddenly go, yeah, when? When's it coming out? No one cares. Very little people care about Star Wars. So I thought we'd dive into this today. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Turn the bell notifications on. Oh, let's check this out, shall we? So, uh, in continuing to earn his spot as one of, if not the most disingenuous directors working in Hollywood today, after previously declaring that his upcoming Star Wars film would piss people off, Taika Waititi has since claimed that he wants the project to, and I quote, to capture that joy and entertainment of George Lucas's original trilogy. And I, 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 it's just fascinating to me that this guy comes out and does this. You know, a lot of Taika Waititi's stuff is actually good, but when you put him in the MCU, when you put him in probably Star Wars, when you put him on probably Akira, it's it's not the right thing. His original stuff is good. I really like Jojo Rabbit, for instance. I really like what we do in the shadows. There's a lot of his stuff which is very good, but it's when it's his original stuff. He doesn't work well in franchises. He doesn't work well injecting his humour, you know, his New Zealand humour, into these things it just doesn't work and it falls flat on its ass and you know what this might very well be a joke his comments on saying well it pissed people off might be a joke but then we also have Thor films to go by and he wasn't joking there where he said I was going to ruin your comic books I mean he really did so I don't know I don't know I don't know what to think guys what do you think so the now former Thor series director spoke to his supposed approach to his upcoming outing in a galaxy far, far away during a November 22nd appearance on The Kelly Clarkson Show. She has a show? Jesus. She's still around. So following a brief discussion regarding his new film Next Goal Wins, which actually looks reasonably funny, Watiti was eventually asked by the talk show's eponymous host, and I quote, I heard that maybe you're doing Star Wars. Are you going to do Star Wars? To which he confirmed, yeah. I've been developing that for a few years with them. However, in light of the film's lack of progress, the director then informed Clarkson, but I think, you know, with any film, but that one in particular, it's something I'd really like to get right. So I don't want to rush it. So I'm just going to bubble along on the side. And again, is this even going to happen now? <laughs> is this even going to happen? Because it doesn't sound like it. I mean, he said that he's no quicker or no, or no sooner to finishing it than he was before. He was kept struggling. Uh, yeah, it was just wasn't going to happen anytime soon. But you don't know with someone like this whether he's being sarcastic, whether he's it's just bringing his dry humour here. It's very difficult to tell. So to that end, Watiti then turned to expound on his overall approach to the film, telling his host... I want to capture that, you know, that joy and entertainment of those early Star Wars films like Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi and all those ones. So I'm trying to figure that out before ultimately assuring Clarkson that his film will happen. So very clearly he's heard the chatter online where people are like, this is dead. This ain't happening. You know. 
So as noted, Watiti's latest attempt to promote his upcoming Star Wars film comes just a little under two weeks after he proudly boasted, and it was proud, uh, that he was willingly developing it in a way that would irri like infuriate fans, it would just piss people off. So it was on variety, red carpet, ahead of the world premiere for Next Goal Wins. So again, which one's the joke? So the director asserted that his entry in the once beloved franchise will be dramatic. Pause, a Taika Waititi film. It's going to piss people off. Why would you say that? But again, this is the thing. Was he joking there? Is he joking now? My thinking is that he wasn't joking. He knows full well it's going to irritate people. Because again, we've got Thor films to back that up. We've got the Thor films to go on. Uh, oh, here it is, yeah. It's due to your Marvel work that this mess is possible. Your writing ruined Thor, his mythos and his character. So no, I do not want to see this film if we are truly getting a Jane Foster Thor. I'll ruin your mythos in a minute, baby. And he did. It was terrible. So as of writing, with Titi's style film has still not yet happened. There's no details, script, cast, crew, release date, nothing. Uh, and this is the thing. He basically hadn't done anything. He goes, I've got a really good idea for it. Just as with all films, it's this middle part. You're like, what's going to happen? And then you look at all those films that are so great. You're like, well, I guess they can't meet some smuggler with an alien sidekick. This guy, honestly. I mean, very clearly, he's scratching people's backs in Hollywood. Very seriously. But, you know, is this is this backpedaling because of Lucasfilm? Maybe. Is this him joking around? Maybe. I still hazard a guess some of this might come from Lucasfilm. I mean, it's come shortly after uh, Dave Filoni was uh, confirmed on board. He's a little bit more social media savvy. So maybe, you know, Dave Filoni in his new role, he's like, hey, wind it back in, boy. Might be. You never know. Uh, but this is, I, I would say this is pretty disingenuous. I don't think he actually cares about capturing that joy. Uh, and entertainment. I, I think we can all probably agree on that. But I do hand it on over to you. What do you think about this? Which do you think is the joke? Do you think this came from Lucasfilm? What do you reckon? Let me know down below in the comment section. Like I said at the start, if you're new here, please do hit subscribe. And please do give the video a like and a share. We're sort of coming out the back end of this weird YouTube glitch that happened. Where it's burying pretty much every channel, literally every single channel, no matter what you talked about. Um, but please do share the video. It does help me out. Anyway, cheers, guys. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye now.